This story is called Clown Guy. This happened to me a while ago. I'm going to say that I was around 15 maybe a little older. One Halloween my friends and I decided to go trick or treating together. It was me, my friend Joe and his girlfriend Mindy. We usually would do the same routes every year. But this year we wanted to go somewhere different. So, we drove past our neighborhood about 30 minutes. We knew that there was a lot of big houses there. Everybody knows that when you have big houses that means a lot of candy. So, we were all super pumped about this. We knew that we were going to get a lot of candy this year. So, we started going from house to house. We didn't even get past half the neighborhood yet and our pillowcases were already half full. But we decided to keep going until we filled up all of our pillowcases to the top. About 30 minutes passed by and Joe and his girlfriend's pillowcases were full of candy. But I still had a lot of room for more. So, we just on going to find more houses. After a couple of houses, Joe's girlfriend told us that she thinks we are being followed. I asked her why she would think that. She said that there is a man dressed in a clown costume and he has been behind us for the last three houses. We told her that there was nothing to worry about. It was probably a guy just messing with us and trying to scare us. But a couple of minutes later I started getting a weird feeling, like I was being followed. I looked back and there it was. A man dressed in a clown costume maybe 10 to 15 feet away from us. Now I knew what she was talking about. Now I was getting pretty freaked out by this. I wanted us to run but I knew that he would just chase us if we ran. So, we just kept walking forward. I didn't want to tell my friends because, I knew that they would just start running. But every time I glanced, he was still following us. I told Joe that the clown guy was still following us. Joe yelled out, yo asshole if you come anywhere near us, we will kick your ass. I wished he didn't say that. Right after he said that the guy just stopped then. He went on a full sprint toward us. Me Joe and his girlfriend ran from him as fast as we could. After running for a couple of minutes, we found Joe's house. We all hopped the fence and looked behind us. I never told my parents about this. If I told them what happened then I knew I wouldn't be allowed to go trick or treating anymore. I'm just glad that nothing bad happened to us that night.